Hey guys, I'm Pranav Shastri and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the connections of your screw type RJ45 wall socket. I had made a video on this very topic seven years ago and it had received tremendous response from you all. I thought a more clear version of this video could be made and clarifying most of the doubts what I had received in the comment section of that video. So here's this one for you all. Hope you all enjoy watching this and it helps you all. In case you have the punch down type of RJ45 wall socket, you can click on this icon here or find the link to that video in the description and you can make the connections of your punch down type RJ45 wall socket. So let's get started. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to make the connections of an RJ45 LAN wall socket. This is manufactured by Roma and this is the screw type socket. Back in 2016, I had made this video and it was under a huge demand from the Indian audience. So I thought it could have been made better with more clarity and clarifying all the doubts that had been asked in the previous video comment. So that is why here's a proper version of that video for all the demand that has been coming. So to start off with, firstly we are going to remove the outer insulation sheath of our incoming CAT6 LAN cable. So in this manner we have removed the insulation and we are even going to cut off the excess length of the pullback string in the LAN cable. So these are the four pairs what we have to connect to our socket. This is our Anchor Roma screw type RJ45 socket. And this is the wiring layout diagram for the socket. We are going to be following the T568B type of connection because this is the type of wiring pinout standard that is used for majority of the communication devices like modems, routers, gateways, hubs, switches, etc. T568A type of wiring pattern is used for scenarios where they need backward compatibility with one pair and two pair universal service ordering code wiring schemes which we don't have to break our head about. We will blindly go with T568B type. So enough of theory and now coming back to the practical part, we are first going to take our cable and pass it through the cable sheath housing protector and tighten the screw so that any undue stress on the cable will not directly affect the conductor pin. Now that we have locked the cable in place, after trimming the excess wire, we are going to untwist the pairs so that we have all 8 wires accessible. Now that we have all our 8 wires untwisted, we are going to skin a part of the insulation so that we can coil each wire on their terminals and tighten the screw. This screw type of RJ11 Anchor Roma socket is actually obsolete now. It's no longer under manufacture as far as I'm aware. But the YouTube video was getting a lot of demand. So maybe it's under manufacture. I'm not sure. But to get this particular model now in 2022, I had to go to SP Road in Bangalore, the market, and got this from one of the dealer finally who had ordered this in bulk of 200 pieces in 2011. And he had a couple of them left. So this is our Roma RJ45 T568B pinout. And this is the same drawing I had used in the video I had made six years ago. Ago. This is a screen grab of that. So now we have nothing much to do but to just loosen the terminal, take the particular wire indicated in the drawing and coil it. Then we got to tighten the screw. So if you are new here to networking or seeing the LAN wire for the first time or not very well aware, let me tell you that the white slash brown or the white slash color. So for example, white brown means the white color which was bundled with the brown pair. Same way white orange means the white color which was bundled with the orange pair. On CAT6 cables, there will be a small line of that particular color to which it belongs printed on the white wire as well. On older CAT5 cables, this was a problem what I faced in my apartment. The white wire does not have a strip of color of the pair to which it belongs to. So if you happen to skin a very small part of the outer sheath, you wouldn't get to know which white wire corresponds to which pair. So the only way to find out in such scenarios is to skin a very long part of the outer sheath and find out which white wire is twisted with which wire and in that way map the pairs correctly so that we don't end up with any nonsense connections. Now coming back to the socket, we are connecting our last wire to the terminal and after we have done that, we are going to physically verify and inspect all the terminals and see if the wires are properly connected. 
At this stage, I would recommend that you connect a LAN cable to the socket and test if all the pins have been connected correctly so that you don't have to remove the entire socket casing and everything after fitting it back to the wall. Also, you might sometimes end up with a situation of 100 megabit connection instead of a 1 gigabit connection. That happens when it's effectively running on a two pair configuration. So some pinout has been messed up here. You can just verify that if that happens. So after we have successfully done all the connections, all we have to do now is put the socket in our wall plate and shut it to the wall. Now that we have secured our wall plate to the wall, we are going to hit and fit our front plate. So in this way, we have successfully connected our Roma RJ45 screw type wall socket. Let us commission this connection as well. And upon connecting, you can see that the internet light has started to glow, which means a successful link has been established between this router and the opposite line equipment. Thank you for watching the video guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and now you will be able to successfully make the connections of your RJ45 wall socket. But nowadays this is not to be seen that much and it's getting obsolete because people are switching to the punch down type of RJ45 wall socket. So I have made a video for that. The link is in the description. You can go and check it out. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment them and I shall try my best to clarify them. So please subscribe, like this video and stay tuned to the channel. Thanks for watching.